Paper 27. Ministry of the Primary Supernifim. Primary Supernifim are the supernal servants of the deities of the eternal Isle of Paradise. Never have they been known to depart from the paths of light and righteousness. The roll calls are complete. From eternity not one of this magnificent host has been lost. These high supernifim are perfect beings, supreme in perfection, but they are not absinite, neither are they absolute. Being of the essence of perfection, these children of the infinite spirit work interchangeably and at will in all phases of their manifold duties. They do not function extensively outside paradise, though they do participate in the various millennial gatherings and group reunions of the central universe. They also go forth as special messengers of the deities, and in large numbers they ascend to become technical advisors. Primary supernifim are also placed in command of the seraphic hosts ministering on worlds isolated because of rebellion. When a paradise son is bestowed upon such a world, completes his mission, ascends to the universal father, is accepted and returns as the accredited deliverer of this isolated world, a primary supernifim is always designated by the chiefs of assignment to assume command of the ministering spirits on duty in the newly reclaimed sphere. Supernifim in this special service are periodically rotated. On Urantia, the present chief of seraphim, is the second of this order to be on duty since the times of the bestowal of Christ Michael. From eternity the primary supernifim have served on the Isle of Light and have gone forth on missions of leadership to the worlds of space but they have functioned as now classified only since the arrival on paradise of the Havona pilgrims of time. These high angels now minister chiefly in the following seven orders of service. 1. Conductors of worship. 2. Masters of philosophy. 3. Custodians of knowledge. 4. Directors of conduct. 5. Interpreters of ethics. 6. Chiefs of assignment. 7 instigators of rest. Not until the ascending pilgrims actually attain paradise residence do they come under the direct influence of these supernifim, and then they pass through a training experience under the direction of these angels in the reverse order of their naming, that is, you enter upon your paradise career under the tutelage of the instigators of rest, and, after successive seasons with the intervening orders, finish this training period with the conductors of worship. Thereupon are you ready to begin the endless career of a finaliter. 1. Instigators of Rest The instigators of rest are the inspectors of paradise who go forth from the central isle to the inner circuit of Avona, there to collaborate with their colleagues the complements of rest of the secondary order of Supernifim. The one essential to the enjoyment of paradise is rest, divine rest, and these instigators of rest are the final instructors who make ready the pilgrims of time for their introduction to eternity. They begin their work on the final attainment circle of the central universe, and continue it when the pilgrim awakes from the last transition sleep, the slumber which graduates a creature of space into the realm of the eternal. Rest is of a sevenfold nature. There is the rest of sleep and of play in the lower life orders, discovery in the higher beings, and worship in the highest type of spirit personality. There is also the normal rest of energy intake, the recharging of beings with physical or with spiritual energy. And then there is the transit sleep, the unconscious slumber when in seraphim, when in passage from one sphere to another. Entirely different from all of these is the deep sleep of metamorphosis, the transition rest from one stage of being to another, from one life to another, from one state of existence to another, the sleep which ever attends transition from actual universe status, in contrast to evolution through various stages of any one status. But the last metamorphic sleep is something more than those previous transition slumbers which have marked the successive status attainments of the ascendant career. Thereby do the creatures of time and space traverse the innermost margins of the temporal and the spatial, to attain residential status in the timeless and spaceless abodes of paradise. The instigators and the complements of rest are just as essential to this transcending metamorphosis as are the seraphim and associated beings to the mortal creature's survival of death. You enter the rest on the final Havona circuit and are eternally resurrected on paradise. 
and as you there spiritually repersonalize, you will immediately recognize the instigator of rest who welcomes you to the eternal shores as the very primary supernifim who produced the final sleep on the innermost circuit of Avona, and you will recall the last grand stretch of faith as you once again made ready to commend the keeping of your identity into the hands of the Universal Father. The last rest of time has been enjoyed. The last transition sleep has been experienced. Now you awake to life everlasting on the shores of the eternal abode, and there shall be no more sleep. The presence of God and His Son are before you, and you are eternally His servants. You have seen His face, and His name is your spirit. There shall be no night there, and they need no light of the sun, for the great source and center gives them light. They shall live forever and ever and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. There shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. 2. Chiefs of Assignment This is the group designated from time to time by the Chief Supernifim, the original pattern angel, to preside over the organization of all three orders of these angels, primary, secondary, and tertiary. The supernifim as a body are wholly self-governing and self-regulatory, except for the functions of their mutual chief, the first angel of paradise, whoever presides over all these spirit personalities. The angels of assignment have much to do with glorified mortal residents of paradise before they are admitted to the core of the finality. Study and instruction are not the exclusive occupations of paradise arrivals, Service also plays its essential part in the pre-finaliter educational experiences of paradise. And I have observed that, when the ascendant mortals have periods of leisure, they evince a predilection to fraternize with the reserve corps of the superafic chiefs of assignment. When you mortal ascenders attain paradise, your societal relationships involve a great deal more than contact with a host of exalted and divine beings, and with a familiar multitude of glorified fellow mortals. You must also fraternize with upwards of three thousand different orders of paradise citizens, with the various groups of the transcendentalers, and with numerous other types of paradise inhabitants, permanent and transient, who have not been revealed on your ancha. After sustained contact with these mighty intellects of paradise, it is very restful to visit with the angelic types of mind. They remind the mortals of time of the seraphim with whom they have had such long contact and such refreshing association. 3. Interpreters of Ethics The higher you ascend in the scale of life, the more attention must be paid to universe ethics. Ethical awareness is simply the recognition by any individual of the rights inherent in the existence of any and all other individuals. But spiritual ethics far transcends the mortal and even the Marantia concept of personal and group relations. Ethics has been duly taught and adequately learned by the pilgrims of time in their long ascent to the glories of paradise. As this inward ascending career has unfolded from the nativity worlds of space, the ascenders have continued to add group after group to their ever-widening circle of universe associates. Every new group of colleagues met with adds one more level of ethics to be recognized and complied with until, by the time the mortals of ascent reach paradise, they really need someone to provide helpful and friendly counsel regarding ethical interpretations. They do not need to be taught ethics, but they do need to have what they have so laboriously learned properly interpreted to them, as they are brought face to face with the extraordinary task of contacting with so much that is new. The interpreters of ethics are of inestimable assistance to the paradise arrivals in helping them to adjust to numerous groups of majestic beings during that eventful period extending from the attainment of residential status to formal induction into the core of mortal finaliters. Many of the numerous types of paradise citizens the ascendant pilgrims have already met on the seven circuits of Avona. The glorified mortals have also enjoyed intimate contact with the creature trinitized sons of the conjoint core on the inner Havona circuit, where these beings are receiving much of their education. And on the other circuits, the ascending pilgrims have met numerous unrevealed residents of the paradise Havona system who are there pursuing group training in preparation for the unrevealed assignments of the future. All these celestial companions 